welcome back to my channel. I know I've been MIA for a while now, but I am back and I'm going to be making videos and uploading them. Uh, my plan for right now is to upload once a week and um, let's see how it goes from there. It's going to be cooking videos, tags, this channel, like, this channel is going to have other aspects. So let's see how that goes and how it turns out. But so when I was thinking which video to make, I was like, why not I make a get to know me video, like, you know, a questionnaire, like, you know, where I answer questions, like, you know, like about myself. So I have picked 15 questions uh, and wrote them down in my notebook and I will answer them for you. So let's get started with the questions. What is your name? My name is Amna. It's in my name on my YouTube channel, Simply Homemade with Amna. So that's my name. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is burgundy. I love a deep red. And I think it complements our skin tone very well too. So uh, I love burgundy. That's my favorite color. Who was your first best friend? Well, my best friend is my sister because she's my sister and she's my best friend. <laughs> I will not choose anybody over her because she's my sister and we are very close to each other. Like we can share, we can express ourselves to each other. Uh, we can flip out on each other. We can laugh. We can bother each other, annoy each other. And I guess that's what best friends are. You can be who you are with them. So that's who is my best friend right now. But if I had to choose, like, you know, apart from my sister, who was my first best friend? Uh, my first best friend, uh, her name was Amna too, and she was um, our neighbor in Pakistan. And um, it was so funny because me and her Amna, the other Amna, we are like a few months apart. And so we were really close. Like we were basically best friends. And my sister and her younger sister, are like a couple of months apart so they were best friends like you know so it was like the four of us and it was very nice like I miss those days sometimes I think about that I'm like oh my god I wish I could just go back and just see them again because they live all like you know in different places too now everyone's married everyone lives in a different place and but that was some good times those were some good times okay next question are you in or have you been to college? Yes, I have been to college. I have a bachelor's in applied mathematics and um, currently I'm not working. I'm a stay at home mom, but I'm planning to go back to work and like, you know, use my degree. But, um, so there's a little story that goes behind that too. But I, as I, when I started college, my major was computer science and um, I did two years in that and I was like, I was doing it and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't like this at all. I didn't like it. and and it was starting to become like a burden on me. And I was like, oh my God, I can't do this for the rest of my life or I can't continue on with this. So at that time I changed my major and I did applied, math applied mathematics because I loved math. I knew that and I wanted to do something in math. And my concentration in applied mathematics was mathematical biology. That's what I did. And um, it was so interesting. Once I chose that major, like once I chose that direction, I was so interested in it. And till this day I am like, you know, how how mathematics plays a role in um in in your health and your in the biology field like you know how the how the mind works like there's actually mathematical equations for neuroscience for how your heart works like you know your um anatomy and stuff and i was i was shocked and i was really interested in it and that's what i did what was your favorite slash worst subject in high school well my favorite subject was uh mathematics obviously I really enjoyed math. I love doing math problems. I love solving math problems. It was just, it was my thing. Like I, you can give me a problem and I'll just like, you know, solve it. Like, you know, I just loved it. It was just, it was easy for me. Like, I guess not easy. Uh, yeah. Easy and enjoyable. Like I had fun. Like, you know, I enjoyed doing it. That was my favorite subject and my worst subject, I guess you can say history. I really didn't like history and I don't, I didn't enjoy it in high school. I guess. What is your favorite drink? Okay, so I, my favorite drink is Pepsi, soda, any kind, but basically Pepsi though, that's my favorite. So next question is tea or coffee? Uh, I, both, I cannot live without either or because I drink one cup of coffee in the morning and I drink one cup of tea in the evening, so they both are very much 
near and dear to my heart. <laughs> I need both in my life. Next question. Are you taken or are you single? I am taken. I've been married, happily married, alhamdulillah, for 12 years now. And that's about it. How many children do I have? Uh, I have four kids, three boys, and one girl. Favorite memory from childhood? Okay. So my favorite memory from childhood is, there's so many, like, you know, your childhood is your best time. It's like a magical time. Like, you can, you can never forget it and you want to go back to it but you can't so my favorite if I had to choose one I guess is the time like Eid like you know any holidays like you know we would get together at my grandpa uh, grandfather's house um, and we would get together over there and everybody all the cousins all the uncles and aunts we would all get together we would have dinner at his house and he would sit on this chair like you know in in uh, it's not a it's like what do you call it? It's like a patio area. He would sit there and he would sit on the chair and we all the cousins would line up and he would give out, hand out two, two rupees for Edie, like, you know, to everybody. And it was just such a nice, happy time. All I can think about is being happy. Like, we were just, we were so happy standing in line waiting for that two rupees, like, you know. And it was just, I just, even now I'm thinking about it, it just brings a smile to my face because it was such a happy time. So, and we would take that two rupees and we would go down the street to the store and buy candies. And that was it. And that was our happy moment. And we were just so happy in that. At that time, there were not, not that many toys or anything like that. Like, you know, and we would be happy with that. And, and I just find this so amazing that nowadays, like, you know, kids like you have to do so much to like please them you have to have a, like a, you have to set us like you have to there's such high standards to like you know take care of children nowadays and I'm like they can just be happy playing outside like it's okay let them go <laughs> with the dirt oh my gosh yeah I used to play with dirt too I loved playing with dirt oh my god I love to eat dirt oh my gosh I can't believe I'm sharing this but yeah it's true I I loved Mitti, I love dirt. Like it was just like you know when you put when you uh, water the dirt, water the plants, and that smell. There was a certain smell, and that smell. I don't know. Till this day, I love that smell. So, so yeah, I guess too much information, but yeah, I love dirt too. <laughs> and I let my kids play in dirt. It's okay. They will be fine. Okay. Next question. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite chain restaurant would have to be CPK. I love CPK California Pizza Kitchen is my favorite spot to go to i i love that place and also i love pizza that's the thing so i can have pizza from basically anywhere there's only a very few places where i will not eat pizza from but other than that i love pizza so california pizza kitchen here you go what iphone do you have i have an iphone 7 and i love it it's the phones are not a big deal to me i don't know like I don't have to have like the latest model or the latest phone like it just doesn't that's not my thing I don't know I just need a phone that works okay one bad habit one bad habit so bad habits I have a few too like you know I can't say I'm perfect but um, one of them I guess is procrastinating I just wait till the last minute for things and um, I don't like it myself like you know it just bothers me too so like that I was like that a lot before but now I've gotten better much 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 better where like you know um, I manage things beforehand I get things ready beforehand I get things done beforehand so I don't have to worry at the last minute that stress I guess the way I worked on it or like the way I handled it was like you know that stress I remember like you know of constantly being in my mind that I have to do it, I have to do it, I have to do it. I hated that feeling. I hated that that voice inside of me telling me that I guess I have to do it, I have to do it. Like it, so I just like I'm like I'm done with. It. I don't want to. It was just it was causing a lot of stress. Like it caused more stress to like you know have that in my mind all the time. So I was like no, I'm just gonna get this done beforehand. I'm gonna do it, get it over with, done with, and that's it. And that's what I do now. I would say 90, 95% of the time I get things done beforehand so I can feel better. Like, you know, I can just be mentally okay because I don't like that feeling in my head or my mind. Like, you know, that I have to do it, I have to do it. Like, or that stress, I guess you can say, I don't like that. So 
that's one of my bad habits and I I'm still getting better at it like you know it's not 100% or it's not like you know where there's been a couple of times where I feel like I was in that place where I didn't have the things done and I was like oh my god that stress came back that feeling came back and I was like oh my god it just gets me really upset at myself I guess I don't know I just get upset at myself and I'm like why didn't I just do it before so yeah some of the questions from the get to know me and I hope you enjoyed the video and please like comment share and subscribe and please guys give me a feedback because that's very important to me that I know that you guys are learning something from this or you guys are like you know gaining something from this because for me to do this for me to continue on doing it I need to hear from you all so please leave your feedbacks on my YouTube channel like you know underneath my videos if you tried them if you like you know how did it turn out for you and also like my Facebook page simply homemade with Amna I'm also on Instagram simply homemade with Amna as well and um, thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in the next one bye bye